everybody, it's Erin from ePapery and Michael from ePapery. And we are doing a joint studio session today. We have realized that we are desperately low on covers in the shop. Um, our journal cover inventory has gotten low and mostly because we just haven't made any new, <laughs> new ones in a while. Not that we don't have the fabric. Not that we don't have the fabric. We have been collecting a lot of fabric. <laughs> I keep joking that my storeroom is the fabric store. Um, so we thought we would work on some, some covers today. So mom is working on kind of one of our typical ones that's made with a file folder um, and then covered in gorgeous fabric and with pockets and stuff inside. You wanna hand your fabrics over to me so I can show them what. So we have got this gorgeous I don't know, what is this, a brocade or something? So. Kind of, it's upholstery weight. Um, and then this beautiful green will be the lining. Um, and then this um, for a pocket or two. Um, so I think that this is gonna be just an absolutely gorgeous cover. I think so. I think so, um, very, very classy. Classy, classy. Good for botanical, I think. I think, yeah, it's going to be gorgeous botanical um, journal or Victorian, maybe, or something in that realm. Um, me, I'm going funky as usual. <laughs> um, and so here's the idea that I had, and I'm sure, um, as usual, I'm sure somebody has done this already. But the idea that I had, because I'm all about using up my scraps right now. Um, in trying to just downsize some, some, and clear out some space <laughs> in the studio. So, um, the idea that I had was taking one of these envelopes and collaging with scrap fabric on it and then quilting it like a crazy quilt. Um, and then I'll put a, a lining in it after I've quilted it. So that's the idea. Um, like I said, I'm sure somebody has done it. I'm sure I'll probably do it differently or <laughs> knowing you <laughs> or maybe mess do it or, differently. Or maybe mess it up completely. <laughs> but no, I have not watched any tutorials on this, so I am just completely winging it. Um, and so I have um, my basket of scraps um, that I have. I've got lace pieces and fabric pieces and trim pieces in there. I've got a but bucket, I almost dumped that over. I've got a bucket of larger scraps and then I went shopping at, in my own fabric store, um, storeroom for some additional fabrics that I thought would go well with the scraps that I know I already have and also a bunch of ephemera that I've been working on using my scraps. So this might end up being kind of a scraptastic journal. <laughs> what do you think? Scraptastic journal. There you go. Um, I know what your father would call that. I think, now you guys let us know if this would be entertaining <laughs> um, because it probably won't be educational. <laughs> but my dad comes up with the coolest names um, for stuff. And I think it would be fun because he doesn't know the vernacular of junk journaling. And I think it would be really fun to have dad name the things. You know what I'm saying? Like name, like show him a belly band and be like, name that thing. And he'd call it something crazy. <laughs> Because what did he name one of our, he he called something at one point a flapper dapper. Yeah. <laughs> the powder. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, flapper dapper. Sounds fun. Like um, a good example is when Erin was a teenager, she liked the band Pearl Jam. And he called it Toe Jam. I think I'm gonna make this the. I'm think I'm gonna make pockets out of this piece. Let's see. Got a lot of different colors in it. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's 
it, that means it's going to go with everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys let us know if, if that would be something that at the very least <laughs> would, be be, would be somewhat entertaining for you. If not, that's fine too. But I think that would be fun one day to just have dad name a bunch of, of stuff. <laughs> I seem to have that fabric for days. Lace and Shall we see who can make those the fastest? Oh, it's gonna be you. <laughs> it's gonna be you. You will be able to make like four times the covers that I will in this period of time because I don't know about over from. So, should we tell them about the retreat that we're. Yeah. Um, I'm digging in my fabric. Do you want to start? Uh, we. Um, decided that we are going to go to a retreat um, for a YouTuber that is here in Wisconsin. That's Kelly at Root Pursuit. And I think it's in April, isn't it? It's in April and there are spots left and she's running a sale this week. Um, $200 off the price. Um, so it's a good week if you if you are interested in coming to Wisconsin in April for a junk journaling retreat. Now is a really awesome time to get your tickets. Um, the retreat is going to be up towards Green Bay, not quite as far north, but still in a kind of a lovely area. Um, so then you could always make a stop over to Green Bay and see the Packer Hall of Fame in Lombardi Field. I mean, you could. It wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that far out of your way. It also would not be far out of your way to head up to Door County if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, which is probably our some of the best scenery. Um, and April weather shouldn't be too bad. No, April. Our winter has been our just... winter has been fairly mild, um, considering. But I think also April typically here is pretty nice. Um, not like I mean, if you're from down south, it'll feel cold. But <laughs> <laughs> for us, it feels pretty nice. For us today, April. it's like what 35 degrees, and we were running around without, without coats. coats or anything. So. <laughs> I mean, you know, take what we say about nice weather with a grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Kelly's got some activities. Sounds like some make and take um, crafting planned um, and stuff. So it should be a good time. We're excited to be a part of it. Yep. I've never been to a retreat, so. Well, I mean, you kind of have. We put you. Well, yeah. So we have a, a group of gals that gets together periodically in the Sparta area in Wisconsin to do journaling activities together. And they get together kind of once a month at a church um, and or just somewhere else. or somewhere else. And you guys coordinated going to Door County. Oh yeah, that's right. We did go to Door County and we did, um, we um, rented a little cabin on, on uh, I think it was Lake Superior. Yeah. And um, that was, that was fun. Um, not only did we get to do some crafting, but we, went and did um, some shopping and um, just, you know, Door County is beautiful, so. Yeah. Oh, and we went 
looking for some wine because that's <laughs> what Door County is famous for. Door County does have a lot of wine and cherries. Yeah. <laughs> and, and scenery and all kinds of good things. All kinds of just you know, wonderful yumminess. stuff, yumminess. Um, it's it's a great place, great place to be, um, especially in the fall. I wasn't able to go, um, but yeah. And what did we do that weekend? Oh, we made. Um, I took. I actually put together some kits, and we made. Um, several pieces of ephemera, some of which were the things that I had put in the Christmas journal that I made, like the Christmas stocking tag. Uh, we made one of those and so yeah, we had a good time. Good. Um, so you do kind of know I, what yeah, a retreat I is I like. I mean, we've just never been to, we've never been to one that's been organized by somebody else, I guess is Nobody's ever invited us. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we're kind of <laughs> quirky, weird people. We're not we're not yet sitting at the popular kids table of junk journaling. <laughs> We may never be there. But. I'm guessing not, but you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, we're having fun. We, we, we have fun and we're not hurting anybody, so. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we'll see, you know, how things go. Maybe someday we'll have a retreat of our own. Maybe. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. That'd be fun. I'd like to do, you know, certainly do Wisconsin's convenient for us, but somewhere else might be fun too. Um, if we can get something organized or get enough interest. Um, which does remind me, Erin, that um, Abigail, who is one of the young ladies that is in the group from Sparta. Hi, Abigail. <laughs> um, is going to school to become a nurse in Watertown, which isn't that. Oh, that's not far that far away. from me at all. No. So, and when um, they uh, got together over Christmas, I wasn't able to go for that one. But uh, when they got together for Christmas. Abigail mentioned the fact that she's kind of missing having somebody to craft with. Oh my goodness, give her my number. So I told her, I said, you know, we don't, Erin and I don't live that far away. You can always no, come and, and craft with us. And honestly, I love Watertown too. So like, yeah. I would not mind making the trip up that direction either. Well, I don't know, yeah, how much space she has, but, um, and she, you know. Well, yeah. We could find a space, but yeah, yeah, she's always welcome to come in. And she's a sweetheart. She yeah. really is a sweetie. Yeah. And she took to jump through it really, really quickly. Oh my goodness, yeah, she does some really cute things. So, so. we love, we love all of those ladies in our club. I haven't been with them for in a, in several months, probably a year, almost a year. Mm. So I gotta. Definitely try and make it out one of those Saturdays that they get together. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they've gotten together as much over the winter. But, but yeah, we had a lot of fun when we went to Door County, so. Well, so far this is looking like a hot mess. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely in the um it's going to get uglier before it gets better <laughs> before it gets better that's the stage mm -hmm. um I forget I was watching somebody's video the other day where they were doing a project and 
they thought, well, this ain't turning out very good. But they kept pushing on word and yep. in the end it turned out beautifully. I think so. that's really, you know, the good advice. I think you just kind of got to keep pushing and keep going. Keep working, keep working, keep working. Um, and that's one of the things I like about junk journaling too is a lot of times if you make a mistake, you can actually fix it, you know, and it still will look fine. <laughs> it's it's just paper and scraps of fabric at the end of the day, really. Exactly. Um, Although I've made a few mistakes that have gone in the garbage. <laughs> And that's okay too. You know, I haven't done a show and tell of some of my first ones of my first journals yet either, but they were nothing woo-hoo either, you know. Um, and even, even now, I'm, you know, I'm still muddling my way through this. This is not my first, um, or not not something that I'm terribly experienced in yet either. This is, I'm learning along with everybody. Well, maybe so. I just happen to be experienced in a lot of other things that made this easier for me to pick up, but, um, you know. Yeah. Your art skills that help with your digitals and. Yes. And with also. Yes, you know, which is, interesting a lot of people might not might not know this but the reason I I started making junk journals was because I was designing digitals um, I started designing the digitals before I made any journals um, and that was because I was you know learning to do digital design on different things and mom suggested I make some digitals for junk journalers and I said what is that <laughs> Um, and she's like, well, she described what it was and. Well, and I had made you one too. Oh yeah. I mean, I knew what a junk journal was, but I'm, I didn't understand what, what a digital was and, and how, you know, what it was that I needed to make and stuff. So that was a learning curve, but I decided that, um, you know, in making, making a journal, making journals myself would ultimately help me understand how to make great digitals. Um, or at least better digitals. <laughs> so, um, so that's why I started making journals and I just, and of course it also appealed to me because I love I love thrift shopping and <laughs> Um, Which is why working we have so with much stuff, time. and I I love and I love doing all different sorts of art, and you know, so it, so it just kind of appealed to me in the sense that I could kind of bring together all of my different things. Oh yeah, I'm a little bit low on Fabri-Tac. That's why I'm using my Eileen's for well, this I thing. I think you need to put some acetone in it or something. It's a little on the thick side. Yeah. Sorry, I usually keep it, I usually keep it head down in the thing, but so anyway, um, but it just turned out that I just, this is, you know, something that I enjoy doing and then we thought, oh, wouldn't it be fun to make YouTube videos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, little did we know. We're, so now it's a learning curve. Um on that as well. So that's been something else to learn. So we've, we've done a lot of learning these past couple of years, I would say. We just celebrate two years of e-papery. Did we? I think so. Wow. Two years um, since we opened the shop. Wow. Um, so thank you all for... Yeah. Know, whether you shop in our shop or just enjoy the videos or whatever you being on this journey with us means a lot 
Um, definitely. It's been, it's been fun. And it's given us something to do together and connect on. <laughs> we don't always agree, but... <laughs> We very rarely agree. <laughs> but hey, that's what it's all about, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have we have fun doing this and that's that's been something that's been really nice. Although we've had our fights about this too, but <laughs> <laughs> brown one the upholstery fabric yeah oh bummer i've got some clear nail polish if you want a fray check i'm just trying to get the corners to look halfway decent i've got the product that's not fray check if you'd like to fray check <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Well, sometimes you don't have to have exactly the most perfect thing. Nope. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll put... put I would say on. cheap clear nail polish, but I've actually got probably my most expensive clear nail polish down here. Oh, mm -hmm. this is an all-in-one base coat and base. It's not even clear nail polish, and it's from Essie. Um, but it works. <laughs> it's been working pretty well. Um, no, I just grabbed one out of my bin. Um, wasn't even really paying attention, but one of these days I'll probably go grab a, you know, Wet n Wild or some other, you know, LA Colors or something like that, a cheap brand of clear nail polish to keep down here. I've always kept some in the mix because it does help. I like putting it on the ends of ribbons and stuff like that, especially, um, to help keep from... everything from unraveling. Um, oh, what do I need there? What do I need? I need a piece of this. Pretty. That is gorgeous. I gotta say I'm a bit jealous of whoever gets to buy that one. <laughs> this is the other problem of making journal covers then I fall in love with them and then I want them. Where did that all come from? It's the brown from the back of this. Is it just the dye or is it fibers? No, it's fiber. Mom's mom's fingers are all brown like she's been into a pan of brownies. <laughs> <laughs> or into some vintage photo ink. <laughs> or into some vintage photo ink. <laughs> pan of brownies. No, that's Sorry, your I... sister, not me. Ah, ha, ha. Sarah's not even here to defend herself. No. There is no defense. <laughs> not, not that time there wasn't. <laughs> See, now I feel like we have to tell the story. We've teased. Poor Sarah. Poor Sarah. Mom made a pan of brownies one time and came home one day from work and school and Sarah had been home and the pan of brownies was all gone. And uh, Sarah's comment was that she accidentally ate the whole pan of brownies. <laughs> How old was she at the time? Oh, I don't know. She might have been 10. Yeah. 
I'm trying to think, think she, was she wasn't, old. yeah, I, I, she might not have even been that old. <laughs> but, so she gets teased for that now. <laughs> Amongst other things. <laughs> Well, her children must take after her because they went to Iowa for their Christmas with her in-laws and um, Jeannie, her mother-in-law, makes wonderful caramel popcorn and, and uh, like Chex Mix stuff and mm -hmm. she always makes bags of it and then they, you know, bring some home. Well, <laughs> uh, Adam went to get some caramel corn the other day and he goes, what? We got half a bag of caramel corn left. Where, what happened to it all? <laughs> Come to find out, Ian, mm -hmm. their oldest son, what is he, 10? Nine? I don't know. Anyway, he, he had taken it upstairs to his room. He had taken two bags upstairs to his room and eaten it all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Needless yeah. to say, they were not very Oh, well, but they weren't. <laughs> Turkey. Yeah, he's. <laughs> I'm. I was surprised. I thought maybe it was Liam, but uh, I would have said Liam first for <laughs> Ian. Uh, Especially when Sarah told me she, he stole he stole an entire bottle of sprinkles out of her baking stash. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and she's like, they were black sprinkles. And he like took them up to his room and just ate them. <laughs> well, that's about like the story of her buying Skittles for Christmas. The teachers at oh, school. Oh, the, the Skittles. Yes. The teachers at school had have lists of things that they need, you know, um, and Ian's teacher had said she likes to use bags of Skittles for, I don't know if it's treats or what. So Sarah had gone out and bought two great big, huge bags of Skittles and had told the boys that that was for Ian's teacher and they were not to eat them. And then she put them up in a high cupboard. So... <laughs> Adam's sitting in his recliner one night and he looks down on the floor in the corner and he says, why are there two big bags of Skittles open over here on the floor? <laughs> and apparently Liam had decided he didn't care if they were for the teacher or not. He wanted them. So. Well, and don't, don't I remember dad saying something like, oh yeah, I saw him digging in the cupboard earlier. Yeah. <laughs> But let's not do anything about it, because, you know, that would Dad. Mean... <laughs> of course, if he would have known what they were doing, he would have been like, oh, do you need a stool? <laughs> yep, that would be your father. <laughs> Did I hear something about Skittles? <laughs> so, yeah, they get into a lot of <laughs> those two. Ugh. They're definitely interesting to live with. Oh, I love those. I love those little turkeys. <laughs> well, yes, I'm sure I have plenty of stories I could tell about your kids too, so there we go. Oh, my kids have great stories too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? My children were perfectly well behaved at all times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> God, Poor Evie. She's making up for it now. Oh gosh, she's a sweetheart. Uh, finally got to see her show choir thing the other night, and it was so good. Yeah. She's finally, she, they've got their first competition on Saturday. Where is it at? Milton. Where's Milton? far away huh? no it's about an hour from here hmm. what time is it do you know they go on at 9 25 a.m oh good lord 
she has to be to the school by like 5 30 in the morning oh boy i'm sure she's loving that well she convinced her dad to let her stay here um friday night mm. so that she doesn't have to wake up even earlier to make the trek from wanakee to here <laughs> well that's so. good yeah extra night of evie <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, she's a sweetie. And I think she did such a good job. Yeah, she did. With her solo. She did. I'm proud of her. And her dance. She's really oh, putting goodness. she's really putting herself out there and I'm proud of her for that. Because that's hard hard to do. Um Did you get your fabric tech solo? It's yeah, it's down towards the tip now. See if I had that line, but I don't think I did. There's acetone. If you want to thin it down a little bit, there's acetone somewhere in that lazy Susan over there. Oh, in here? Yeah. Okay. And plastic pipette. Yeah. Somewhere in here. Huh? Somewhere in that mess. Okay. I need some more blue up here of the dark. Oh, I need some more of the dark stuff. What is this? Oh, is this? No, that's... That's alcohol. The acetone, I think, is in one of... No, 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 no. Oh. This? No. <laughs> here, I think it's in this. Oh, well, I would have certainly known that, yeah. <laughs> well, it's coming out, see? Yeah, it, it comes out. It just needed to get down to the tip. So. But yeah. I think it because it stays so cold down here. Oh, yeah. It just I don't put gets kind of stiff. Anyway, because if I'm going to sew this, I don't want the machine getting all. Yeah, please don't guck up my machine. I'm not sure I could go guck up my own, but. <laughs> Oh, so we were shopping for pants for Evie um, the other night. Uh, took her to St. Vinny's. And it never fails. She always fall, decides to fall in love with something that they've got on one of their mannequins instead of mm -hmm. something that we find on the racks. And one of the pairs of pants was, it's just like a, pair of wide leg flowy pants with an elastic waist mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like she's like darn it why is it always something that's on the mannequin and not something that's on the rack and I'm like well I said I don't know what size those are and you know whatever but I'm like I'm telling you this like even I could probably sew those like <laughs> <laughs> well I don't know <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure, because she's like, well, I would take 10 pairs <laughs> in different colors if you can sew those. Like, okay. Yeah, right. I can't wait to see that happen. But <laughs> she tried on like eight different pairs of pants there, and we came home with one. <laughs> one pair of pants from the thrift store but she needed pants so badly and then the Goodwill was closed by the time we got there. So we went, um, we went to dinner and Kohl's was still open. So I took her to Kohl's. And so I bought her two pairs of jeans at Kohl's. Mm. And you can tell I have my daughter trained really well because we're in there even looking at the 70% off clearance and she's going into sticker shock because the <laughs> jeans are like, <laughs> you know. Oh, she cares, huh? Oh, yeah. How much money she spends. Of course she does because mm -hmm. she, she doesn't earn her own money. She doesn't have a job, you know. Unlike her mother who always wanted the most expensive uh. ones. <laughs> Do not always want the most expensive ones. I just, you know. 
nipples. Kids can be cruel. <laughs> Get made fun of. Sometimes. At least after a certain age, I was babysitting and at least buying some of my own clothes. She does not have time to do any of that. <laughs> I don't know how I had time. Well, I guess I did most of my babysitting before I was in high school. And once I got into high school, I was working other jobs, but... had to take leave of absence certain times of the year. Um, December I could never work because I had too many gigs. <laughs> too many gigs. Huh? Too many gigs. This bottle of glue is almost done. I'm probably gonna let need to let this dry overnight I'm thinking before I sew this because this is a oh yeah a very wet glue that I'm using but I you know I just wasn't sure if glue stick was gonna well it, it should hold it because that's gonna do it you know it should hold it for long enough to soap it but yeah And then I was going to put some, you know, some like lace pieces and stuff. I mean, I put a couple out here, but I was going to add some other ones. This is, this is brand new. It's not open. Oops. Oh, dear. I have a love-hate relationship. Yes, I always have had a love-hate With Fabri-Tac. Oh. Looking pretty gucky here too. This is. What do you mean you're almost out of fabric tack? Got a whole thing there. In that bottle. <laughs> Jeez. No, I really am pretty judicious about when I use it, to be honest. Um, and I will also say that there are times when I have gone to using hot glue. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I'm too lazy to get my hot glue gun out. <laughs> Well, I have mine at my station ready to go at a moment's notice, or at least whenever it heats up after I plug it in, but it's here. Um, oh, that's good. So that I can use it. Okay, 
just a couple little more pieces to cover up over here. What do I want to cover them up with? I like... But hot glue is not something I want to use if I'm going to be sewing no. through it. <laughs> that would not you know, be know, I think that idea. would be probably... see it a little better if I did that one. Mistake. Okay. I love mistakes. Well, this green fabric has a side that's, you know, shiny and a side that's, well, hello there. Oh. Hi, Ragnar. Hi, Ragnar. <laughs> and a side that's not shiny. And so the the inside of the journal is this, the, um, I put down the shiny side up, but then I went to put the thing on the Oh, but you know what? When you put it up against the shiny, it makes you're able to see it. A little bit of contrast. Yeah. yeah, I like that actually. It works. Hi, buddy. Are you saying hi to everybody? My cat Ragnar has decided to come and say hi. Hi. You can't crawl up in my lap right now, though. <laughs> you will get know, you will not? get cat hair all over. And some people don't like to uh, have stuff with cat hair all over it. I mean, I know. I don't get it either, but there we go. Okay, now I'm down to where I'd have to sew, so. But I do think it's going to be pretty. I must have done something to my shoulder last night. It does not feel good. Is that too many of the same pieces of fabric there? I might be. I might need to replace this one with something else. So there. And I want to sew around these and then the glue goes in. I should have sewed them on the other. And we still have enough of that fabric to make another one. At least one. And here we have some left. Cute. Not only just a tiny bit of this left. But... Well, I know I've got some other stuff that would probably line that. Oh, yeah. Um, as well. So, yeah, because we still have. Oh gosh, yeah, I, we can get at least two more, I think, out of that. Mm -hmm. I think it's very so, pretty. If you like the brown fabric. <laughs> let us know, because. I thought it was pretty when I saw it. Yeah, I do. I like that one a lot. It's very classy very pretty and then there's my cover <laughs> no I think this is going to be cute it's just very different <laughs> okay so I made one green one so I don't want to make another green one which one of these should I make Ooh, make the pink one that's what I thought okay hand that over I'm going to show it on camera the, the just fabric pink? yeah well, okay so here's pink. the one the next one that she's gonna work with so and then here's the beginning she hasn't embellished this yet but 
or sewn it but yeah this is how this one's turning out it's looking gorgeous I just like the way this feels too yummy yeah I'm giving it four out of four yummies <laughs> I don't know what that I, yeah. some days I would just like to get one yummy <laughs> okay now so here I've got it all covered with fabric but now I think I'd like to put some lace on it before I sew it oh okay but see I put like some flowers kind of up top you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. you know so are you just going to stitch it all over or are you actually in a crazy quilt that where you stitch every... I was planning on like stitching all the little borders mm -hmm. and stuff. But we'll see what I feel like once I get to the machine. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut out another little flower cluster here to put on this like up here. Super surprised he's down here hanging out. Ooh. I don't know. It's shiny. I like the shiny. <laughs> shiny. I gotta keep track of what time it is too, because I can't drive in the dark, you know. And the weather's supposed to get kind of gucky, is so it? well remember how Alexa told us that there was going to be a warning. For the forest, Wisconsin, a winter weather advisory is in effect until Thursday, January 19th, 9 a.m. Great. See? Great. <laughs> Hope that doesn't mean the boys are going to be home from school tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. Are you sure you don't want to spend the night? <laughs> yeah. Where? On the floor? <laughs> Evie cleaned her room, sort of. Was she with her father this week? No, she she's here. I was going to say. I think I can almost get, if I decide just to, oh, maybe not. I was going to say, if I decide to sew around the edges of this, I could almost get four of them out of this. Oops. So I am fussy cutting this a little, just like not super or fussy. fussy cutting as Ellie said. <laughs> Pussy cutting? Is that what she said? That's what she, she calls a pussy cutting. I don't know what she means by that, but she's a little weird. That doesn't sound right. I mean, putsy cutting, I yes. can see. I think that may be what she meant, but she, it came out as pussy, so she decided. I don't know. Well, she's the CNA. She should know what pussy <laughs> looks like. I think she does. Um, no, I'm just basically like leaving a bit of a border because I wanted more of the background fabrics to kind of peek through there. What did I do with my phone? Hmm. Hmm. I lost my phone. Great. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I spent half of my day saying that. Uh huh. What did I do with that? Ooh, what did I do with that? <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing with my phone. And I, I look at Matt and I said, Where did I leave my phone? He check the bathroom. I've had this habit lately of either leaving my phone in the bathroom or in the car which is a bad habit I should not be leaving my phone in the car but um alas, I don't even want to know why you're taking your phone into the bathroom <laughs> because I take it everywhere with me it's not like you know 
a special purpose. Oh, I I think Rocco's, Rocco's toy. <laughs> yeah, this fabric too. Oh, that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. So it's got the other day I it. found this upstairs because <laughs> Rocco came down to the studio and stole it. <laughs> Kitties, you should not be. Now I gotta go find I know, it. but some like little bits and bobs and trims and stuff. Yeah. That's the ticket. Okay, that's where the crease goes. See, here is where that nail polish is going to come in handy. Because I'm going to put some healthy dabs on the end of this trim in the hopes that it doesn't unravel like crazy. See, here I might steal some Fabri-Tac here, so Just placing this trim down to kind of follow, you know, this was, there was a major seam right there. Um, find another place to put some over here. I'm going to polish the ends again on this one. That's a good spot for this one again. Just kind of following the edges there. tell how long mom's been in the fabric store. Now you know how much fabric we have. If anybody would be interested in like a fabric stash builder pack, let us know. Cause that is definitely something we could, we could be doing. And if that were an interest, like what size would you think a fabric uh, of a fabric piece would be useful? in a stash builder pack, like a couple that are journal cover size and then scraps or, you know. Say you I, got, you I got, laid down the one piece of fabric yeah, so that I could look at the other fabrics and then lost it, couldn't find it. Uh-huh. And it's all the rest of it. In the black hole of... Yeah. This is so pretty. I want to make a cover out of that. Damn it. You stole that one. <laughs> well, you can... All right. No, 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 no. You go ahead. It's better that somebody makes something out of it than it just sits there waiting for me. Is that too bright? It's a little bright out it's here. It's not the, the same pink no, is the problem, it isn't it? Yeah. Is... Oh, I like that. Is that going to go in here? I like that, yeah, because I think you could add some pink ribbon or lace or something. Uh, 
Yeah, this is a little bit later. Out here, right? There's not a light back here. Yeah, there is. Duh. <laughs> All right. Where did I decide on this one? Right there. So that one's gonna kind of wrap the spine a little spine a little bit and I just put it on by a few dots. this little flower a little bit. I think that's going to be cute. That'd be cute. Okay. Oh, I've got a piece of lace here. Uh, let's see. I could cut this into smaller pieces. Maybe put one up that side and one on the other side. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. we get really quiet really quiet when I'm concentrating or into what I don't know things that match more things that match. <laughs> whereas clearly I'm not <laughs> yep clearly I have no care in the world when it comes to matching I like that too which one do you like I like the I like the, the stripe, stripe one better okay not sure if it really goes with the floral on the front but hey Florals and stripes go. Okay, yeah. Then I suppose I better put this back. I'll put this back. Now that one would go nicely with that red that you had in your hand. Yes. Um, well, I think I would, I don't know, maybe go with the gold rather than the brown, but then I don't know. So you know me. <laughs> otherwise, I would probably do like navy might look okay because I've got that navy fabric on there. Yeah, that would look okay. Or my signature olive green. <laughs> um, the olive green would look pretty too. Yeah. Trim, trim, trim away the little excess here. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I'd like to make one like that where it's hand stitched. I don't think thing. you're crazy because I considered that. Um, different embroidery stitches and do some slow stitching on it yeah I think that would be but a really that, fun idea it would be but it's gonna it would be take very a while so I think I'm gonna 
machine stitch this and then I'll see how I feel about it, but yeah. Well, after you do it, you're not good. <laughs> well, but I mean, I could still add slow stitching to it well, yeah. once I get it, you know, quilted. Yeah. Right? Could, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's my first cover, at least kind of ready to dry. And I'm ready to move on to make a second cover. So, how long have we been doing a video? Are they sick of this yet? Oh, oh no, it's definitely time to cut this one off. <laughs> so, all right, everybody, we will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>